The smallest crossover from Jaguar was introduced in 2017. European sales started in autumn, and the car came to Russia at the beginning of the year. Moreover, the baby is being brought not from England, where until recently all Jaguars were assembled, but from Austria, where Magna Stare is involved in the assembly. And the production of cars for China was mastered by the local enterprise Cherry Jaguar Land Rover in Changsha. We have sold and sold E-Pace only with 2-liter turbo force of the Ingenium family, 2.0-liter gasoline, 249 and 300 forces, as well as diesel engines for 150, 180 and 240 horses. All engines are combined with a 9-speed automatic ZF and all-wheel drive transmission. Moreover, in two versions, the usual multi-plate clutch, which connects the rear axle if necessary, is placed on the initial modifications of the crossover. And versions with a 240 horsepower turbo diesel and a 300 horsepower gasoline engine have an active driveline system with an individual clutch for each rear wheel. In any performance, the Jaguar E-Pace is endowed with a solid body with a powerful spatial structure made of metal. The platform is not new, its roots go back to the middle of 2000 to 2010, but it is condo and heavy. The curb weight of the car is from 1832 kg. Even the larger BMW X3 weighs a hundred weight less. And this despite the fact that the front fenders, hood, roof, tailgate, and front suspension elements are made of aluminum alloy. Therefore, the car is practically indifferent to corrosion. But the details of the external decor, and there are enough of them on the car, cannot resist the onslaught of chemicals that fertilize our roads. Of course, the durability of the Jaguar body cannot be compared with the paintwork of the Koreans and inexpensive Japanese, but after three to four years, scratches and chips may appear on the body of the E-Pace, and the chrome elements become cloudy or even covered with dark spots. Despite the youth of the car, it recently turned exactly four years old, some owners complain about the jamming mechanism of the panoramic roof. The problem is related to a factory defect in the guides, so dealers change the assembly under warranty. They say that in specialized centers it is enough to adjust them. However, electrical failures make themselves felt more. However, most of them disappear after restarting the engine. But there are also serious problems, the repair of which will cost a pretty penny. So, the keyless access system stops recognizing its own or does not close the car on demand, the door closer fails, various sensors and electronic components fail, the joystick for switching automatic modes can be capricious. Although all these malfunctions are floating, spontaneous in nature and may occur sporadically. Often there are complaints about annoying errors in the operation of the navigation system. The problem is usually fixed with a software update. At the same time, it should be noted that the concern is constantly improving the software. In general, ePace is crammed with electronic gadgets to the eyeballs, so it is very afraid of current leakage. Hence the increased requirements for the battery, you need to constantly monitor its charging especially if the car is often idle. In addition, the battery is prone to self-discharge, which is why equipment failures begin in the electrician. It is worth paying tribute to the car. It always warns of a low battery level through the information on the instrument panel. With motor electrics, the Jaguar E-Pace is all right. As for the two-liter gasoline engines, of which two were installed on the car, with a capacity of 249 and 300 forces, moreover, more powerful with two turbochargers, more capricious and more expensive to maintain. Motors are generally considered reliable. At least there were no mass complaints to them yet. True, on the first copies it is already possible to detect a turbine sweating with oil. Although in this state, the turbocharger can last for several more years. The main thing is to change the engine oil every 10 to 15,000 kilometers and monitor its level. By the way, about oil. Its consumption in some cars can exceed 100 to 200 grams per 1,000 kilometers. Moreover, the manufacturer considers such consumption to be quite normal. In general, this problem is relevant for any car with turbocharged power units. Therefore, the owners can only constantly monitor the amount of liquid lubricant. We also note that the turbine, pump and injection nozzles are at risk for all engines. Diesel, force have the same sores as gasoline ones, a turbocharger a booster pump and a high-pressure fuel pump with nozzles. But at the same time, they are more durable and noticeably more economical. But they are also demanding on the quality of fuel and oil, timely maintenance and repair. If the engine lost power, and the car went into emergency mode, 
then most likely this is a consequence of the failure of the mechanism for changing the geometry of the turbine. Replacement is quite expensive. The same symptoms can be caused by a clogged diesel particulate filter or EGR valve. However, if you use the correct fuel and recommended engine oil, do maintenance on time using high-quality consumables, and follow the recommendations of dealers, then a diesel engine can last a very long time. Good service does not interfere with the ZF automatic transmission either. Although it is initially considered very reliable, be that as it may, but so far there have been practically no cases of its failure. This is confirmed by the statistics of many other cars equipped with a similar unit. Reliable and all-wheel drive transmission with Borg Warner clutch. Moreover, in Europe there are also front-wheel drive versions, but they were not officially delivered to us. Regardless of the type of drive, the E-Pace is equipped with an independent rear suspension of its own design integral link with a vertical link between the trunnion and the lower control arm. The suspension resource depends on where the crossover is operating. It is clear that with frequent driving outside the asphalt, it will be necessary to invest in the chassis and running gear much more often and more. The service life of most suspension components also depends on the driving style of the driver and geographic location. Regular cross-country races will lead to an early failure of chassis parts, which are not at all cheap, as well as work to replace them. For example, wheel bearings are changed along with the hub, and levers are only assembled and they cost 35,000 and 28,000 rubles, respectively. As you can see, the small Jaguar has not yet managed to accumulate complete statistics of faults, the car is still relatively young. However, there were practically no negative reviews for four years. All this testifies to the reliability of the car, a significant plus to which is not only a refined appearance and a luxury image, but also an affordable price, after all, all Jaguars lose their value quite significantly with age.